An environmental research group recently noted only 3% of vehicles on the roads across the country run on diesel. Their exhaust accounts for over a quarter of the nation's transportation greenhouse emissions. School buses traditionally run on diesel, but with strides in technology, Dave, schools now have some cleaner options. Yeah, and new tonight, meteorologists Brandon Lawrence and Taylor Canoose to take a deeper dive into those two diesel alternatives and whether or not they're viable options for Iowa schools. About 250,000 Iowa students ride a bus to and from school every day. It's a way of getting around that's seen little change for decades. But now there's a growing push to consider eco-friendly alternatives for these diesel-driven machines. Although switching to diesel substitutes is a goal for school districts in Iowa, flipping the state's fleet of nearly 3,000 buses just won't happen overnight. I think we can all agree that we want cleaner air for children, for vulnerable people, for everybody. Research shows school buses nationwide emit up to 8.4 million metric tons of carbon dioxide each year. That's roughly the same amount your car would put out if you drove it more than 21 million miles. As the push to reach carbon neutrality grows, school districts are turning to diesel alternatives, specifically propane and electric buses. Out of the approximately 3,000 buses in Iowa, 322 are powered by propane across 56 districts. It's used and it's a clean fuel. It doesn't leak into the ground, it evaporates. In fact, a 2019 study from West Virginia University showed nitrous oxide emissions were 34 times higher for diesel school buses over propane buses on stop and go routes. And there is no black uh, fumes coming out of the, the back tailpipe. It's so smooth and quiet. It does make some noise when you accelerate, but uh, nothing compared to what a, a diesel bus does. The Nevada Community School District added propane buses to its fleet four years ago and plans to add more in the future. One of the primary reasons for the upgrade is the amount of money saved in fuel and maintenance over time. Uh, you do pay just a little bit more uh, than a diesel bus, but in the long run you save close to $30,000 per unit. New propane buses cost roughly $106,000 up front, more than the current price of a diesel bus. Electric buses are another alternative to diesel, but at a cost of around $350,000, they're still more than triple what districts are budgeting for new buses now. Currently in Iowa, electric buses are only used by public transit services like DART, or the Des Moines Area Regional Transit Authority. We currently have seven electric buses in our fleet. They have been in service since the beginning of this year, so early January. We know that diesel buses are not going to be the future of you know, the transit vehicle, uh, and so we really wanted to be on the forefront of testing new technologies and understanding what's going to work best here in our area and our climate in particular. Electric transit buses run just shy of $900,000, but DART credits federal grants and a partnership with MidAmerican Energy for making the pilot project possible. We're looking at everything from maintenance on the buses to what uh, energy source costs, whether it be diesel or electric. As improvements to electric buses come about, the hope is the cost will eventually drop to a more affordable range. I could see more school buses doing it with the capacities that they're coming out with. If they get that battery technology in there in the next few years, that could be the biggest game changer. Another possible game changer could be the recently signed Bipartisan Infrastructure and Investment Jobs Act, which sets aside $5 billion, half for new electric school buses and half for low emission school buses. Schools that don't get federal aid will have to weigh the pros and cons of electric versus propane. Mom's Clean Air Force urges schools to look at the big picture rather than just the upfront costs. We cannot afford not to do these things. We cannot afford not to fight the climate crisis because the cost of not doing so far outweighs the cost of whatever we're saving short term. I keep my eye on it, yeah, and if someday that ever becomes an affordable option for the school district, yeah, I would absolutely jump all over. Currently, there are no school districts in Iowa with electric buses. However, the Iowa City School District is the first in the state to pledge to convert to all electric buses. They plan to complete this process over the next 11 years.